Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, One Pizza Too Many. Now, I'm going to talk bacon, I'm going to talk Ninja Foodie XL. So we have 500 gram or 12 rashes of dry cured quality bacon from our local butcher. Um, now, what we're going to do, we're going to put the pot into the Ninja Foodie. Okay, and there's several ways you could cut bacon, so we're going to look at both. Okay, so you can either lay it out nice and flat, okay, on the cooking racks, or you can put the top rack on and you can hang the bacon over. So we're going to do both to decide which one cooks the best bacon. So, first of all, so you've you got your little book that comes with the foodie, okay, and you turn to air crisp because that's what we're going to do, and bacon. So, what it says is lay rashes evenly over the edge of the basket. So, this is telling you to hang it over the edge, okay. Um, it reckons it's going to cook at 170 degrees for 13 to 16 minutes. So let's see if it does. So first of all, we'll do it as the book requires, okay? Nice bits of bacon, smell good. Okay, so it's a little bit fiddly. And obviously, over in the UK, we get proper bacon. None of this thin, streaky bacon like some of you Americans might get. We get proper bacon. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just hang these on no sun today and it is absolutely freezing out here it's about 7 degrees right so as you'll see we've got our bacon hung up okay we're then going to put this into the basket okay Okay, I'll bring you over so you can see this now and gives me a chance to go and wash my hands. Here's the book. Okay, so we've got bacon, one rasher up to 500 gram pack. So we've got a 500 gram pack um, and we're using half of it, so 250 gram. So it says lay rashes evenly over the edge of the basket, which is what we've done there. Okay. It says uh, that no oil is needed and we need to cook it at 170 degrees for 13 to 16 minutes and we don't need to preheat it. Marvellous. Okay, so the food is on. So what we're going to now do is we're over on to air crisp. We are going to click temperature. I'm going to change this to 170 like it said in the book and time we're going to do it for 13 minutes which is what it says as the minimum time we're then going to close the lid and we're going to press start so you'll hear it the fan so this bit does get hot the top bit but the rest of it stays nice and cool and we've got the countdown timer here so this will beep again when this is done it's always good to check it every sort of five minutes or so so we'll come back shortly and check it just coming up to halfway stage of the 13 minutes now so it's 6 30 we are at halfway 
there we go so when you lift the lid you will notice that it detects that and it stops the timer um, and you see the bacon is cooking really nice um, and all the fat is dripping off and collecting in the bottom of the container so let's close the lid and let's leave it for the remaining six and a half minutes and we'll see what it's like then so this is now just on the final few seconds of the 13 minutes and there we have it it says it's done so let's have a look okay let's open the lid and you know what looks pretty good so we have cut bacon and you'll see all the fat is collected in the bottom and we have ended up with some pretty good looking bacon So this is still hot. Obviously the only thing doing it this way is you're not going to get the nice flat bacon for the traditional bacon sandwich in the UK. Okay, so let's pull down quite quick the rack. I also do have asbestos hands. So let's move the cut bacon out of the way. Lay these racks down. I'm going to go straight in with the next set. But this time. instead of instead of laying it over we're laying it in so first bit in then the second bit just clips over and sits on top close the lid okay then we're gonna go to air crisp temperature 170 time 13 same as this one and we're going to press start and then we'll look at this again after 13 minutes okay the final few seconds of this second batch of bacon and there we have it it's done let's have a look in the lid and again we've got what looks to be nicely cut bacon so let's have a look so one thing I would say is there's a lot more fat still on the bacon that I've just tipped off however this does look a little bit crispier now some of the bits have folded up themselves like this one here Yeah, it's nice and crispy. Now, the bottom rack, I think, is a slightly different story. Okay, let me just take this top rack off. So it is done, however, it's not done as much as the top one, and to the point, I'm going to put that one back in give it another blast just for two minutes I think nope. 
colours to give it three. And temperature, 170. Because it did look just a little bit. So I'd say, so far, out of the two, the folded bacon, you end up with a more consistent looking bacon and less fat because you can see the fat still on this one that's been laid down however you end up with a bit of a crispier bacon from laying it down so what I would say would be to use the fold it over method use the fold it over method and maybe just do it a couple of minutes longer if you like but Yeah, overall I'd say it's still still a pretty good effort really um, and it's fairly fairly healthy. Right, okay, so I've taken the extra bit of bacon out now. It's that piece there now, it's had the extra three minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the amount of fat okay, that I've got off this bacon. Now this was really good quality bacon. Okay, you can hear it's still it's hot. all that fat just off 12 pieces of dry cured bacon that's a lot of fat okay so a lot of fat and what we're going to do with that is I'm gonna add some olive oil okay to bring that up to half a cup I've done that for two reasons. One, to stop the bacon fat solidifying in the cold. And two, because I'm gonna use that in my next video using the blender to make some bacon age using the bacon and the bacon fat to make fresh mayonnaise with bacon in it for a modern burger that a lot of you are probably used to if you're going out to different burger joints. Um, so we're gonna attempt that in the next video. So, why don't you tell me what you think about folded versus flat bacon in the Ninja Foodie in the comments below. Head over to our Facebook page at One Pizza Too Many um, to keep up with all the action in between the videos. And obviously, make sure you hit the subscribe bell. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. One piece of too many.